Wakanda, where is it? Some of the symbolism in the Black Panther movie is profound and enlightening. Wakanda, could Black Panther's Wakanda be a real hidden place somewhere in Africa by another name? To our knowledge, no outside stimulus like this movie has ever created this kind of revolutionary self-evaluation of a people. Never has the spirit of black folk been instantly catapulted to such wondrous heights of self-esteem. But why? And why now? And what is the reason for it? Let's investigate. Although Wakanda is the symbol of what is possible in the movie, it also gives us a blueprint of how to get there. In the film, the whole reason for Wakanda's development was the people's utilization of the vibranium that fell onto their location. Because of this, they excelled by creating great inventions in the imaginary Wakanda. I venture to say that vibranium is necessary in reality. The results of what the idea of it has done to our people is the stimulation within the mind. The impact that it has on the brain is today's vibranium. Let's break the word vibranium down. V-I-B is the root word for vibrant, meaning brilliant. Brain is self-explanatory, and I-U-M is the root word for chemical. Vibrant brain chemical. Now, what could that vibrant brain chemical possibly be? Melanin is the superconductor within our brains that is the creative, mental, physical, and spiritual source and force within us that European scientists have been trying to figure out for centuries. According to Dr. Layla Africa, it is that black superhero substance within us that gives us ancestral memory. It enables us to be the best there is in everything we focus on, even when stripped of all that they thought disabled us. That's what the Black Panther movie spiked awake inside of us all. Melanin has always been our creative, sustaining, powerful, unstoppable, long-lasting, and protective vibranium. Dr. Layla Africa stated in his We Are Different YouTube video that I suggest you study to better understand yourself. And I quote, the more melanin you have, the more civilized you are. The more melanin you have, the more psychic you are. The more melanin you have, the more information your brain can store. The more melanin you have, the faster the nerve transmissions are. The more melanin you have, the more sound you absorb in your ear so you can hear the full range of sound. No other race can do that. The more melanin you have, the more color you can absorb in your eyes. That's why your eyes are brown. You actually see the full color. You see this color where white folks see a paler tan. Because the more melanin you have, the more you can see what God has meant for you to see. The more melanin you have in your taste buds, the more you can taste the full flavor of the food. No other race can taste an apple like you can because they can't absorb the full flavor because you need melanin to absorb the full flavor of food. That's why we combine food differently from other races because we can actually taste the food. That's because of the high amount of melanin we have, which we sometimes take for granted. Melanin is the chemical key to life. There is nothing else to study in science, which is melanin, close quote. Melanin has propelled us into greatness that no other race on this planet has performed. We have suffered unbelievable destruction of our culture, family, religion, self-worth, language, disheartening of our spirits, creation of self-hatred, and slave mentality programmed by others during and after slavery, which were all insurmountable odds to keep us relegated to inferior status and no self-worth. In spite of it all, we have arisen and risen.
to show the world how to move into a technical age that would not be possible without us. We have proven that there must be a Wakanda somewhere because of our creativity and resilience. But Wakanda does exist. It is a place, a space, that exists in our melanated minds, bodies, and spirits. It exists because had it not, the Moors, black people, would not have existed to show peoples in the world, unlike themselves, how they built all of the great castles, brought mathematics, clean living conditions, care for animals, education, righteous living, and ruling techniques to specifically Europeans who were ignorant and suffering. Check out the four DVD collection, Hidden Colors. Had Wakanda not existed in our minds, the great pharaoh, male and female regents who built all of the pyramids would not have left the information of who they were carved in stone for us to see today to remind us of who we are as a people and the greatness we carry within us. Our layman persecutors are now beginning to believe the truth of who we are after having watched the characters and wondrous inventions portrayed in Black Panther. The powers that be have always known. It is the general populace who do not know our glorious creative history in the world and in this diaspora. Our ancient Nubian African ancestors were creators of medicine, law, the seven curriculum, righteous living, guides to spiritual growth, writing, libraries, languages, civilizations, and much more. The list is unending. Dr. Asa Hilliard in his presentation, Free Your Mind, Return to the Source, African Origins of Civilization stated, when we have been told that we have created nothing in the world and we learn who we are historically, we find that we have created almost everything in the world, close quote. Check unto Diop, proved before the greatest European scientists and Egyptologists of his time that melanin doesn't deteriorate even in fossil form. He had six educational degrees, but used his chemistry and biology degree knowledge to prove who the ancient pharaohs were. He stated that his experiment would prove that loosely based melanin in the skin of ancient pharaohs would prove that they were white and tightly based melanin would prove that they were black. Well, all of the pharaohs were proven to be black. From that date on until recently, all the bodies of the pharaohs were hidden in the basements of the Cairo and British museums. Europeans are expert at hiding the truth of the greatness of people unlike themselves. Dr. Hilliard, by proving how great we were in history, shines brightly on our excellence today. What are some of the magnificent creations of black people? The people, scenery, ambiance, and futuristic display of excellence in Black Panther seems possible in today's world, especially since the electronic advances in today's society have been invented by black inventors and innovators, like the computer, the cell phone, our ingenuity displayed in figuring out how to send people into space and return them safely to Earth motors to sail ships across the oceans, also built machinery for manufacturing such as the real McCoy. Remember Elijah McCoy? That's what he did. Philip Amagowali invented the world's fastest computer. Paul E. Williams, the helicopter. Onesimus, who brought the smallpox inoculation method from Africa before Europeans had any medical knowledge. And Manly West, who discovered the compound in cannabis to cure glaucoma. And how about Joseph N. Jackson, creator of the programmable remote control, and John Burr, the lawnmower, J.F. Pickering, the airship, J.B. Winters, the fire escape ladder, Granville Woods, the trolley car, and his telephone that was far superior to Alexander Graham Bell's, and George Washington Carver, who created 300 products from peanuts, even peanut butter, also 118 products from the sweet potato and 75 products from pecans. G.T. Sampson, 
who invented the clothes dryer, G.F. Grant, the golf tee, Frederick Jones, air conditioning, T.K. Elkins invented the toilet in 1897, and Robert Fleming Jr., the guitar. The list is never ending of the inventions by blacks that are kept quiet to hide out genius that have made life more comfortable and pleasant for everyone. Were these inventors sent to us from Wakanda to gradually lead us into the futuristic world it displayed? All of the above are possibilities of the real Wakanda and Wakandans. But if nothing else, Black Panther's Wakanda doesn't need to be a physical place on the earth. It has become the mental stimulus, the seed planted within the minds of millions of black people, especially black children, that that kind of place is possible. The proof that the seed is blossoming will be how they now begin viewing the world and themselves being the creators of their future and the future of their people. As gods and goddesses, they must now realize that everything they think, say, and do are creations. Our children will no longer see themselves through the eyes of the antagonistic persecutors within our society, but as the princes and princesses that they truly are and the kings and queens they can and will become. But when and how will this take place? It will happen when we again understand the hieroglyphics sent down through time as the Bible and what it tells us about who we truly are. What does it say? It says, in the beginning, God said, let there be light. And everything that God said came into being. God also said, let us make man, meaning the original man and woman, in our likeness and image. This means we are gods and goddesses. And everything we think, say, and do is a creation. If you don't believe it, let's hear what Jesus said about us. Jesus said in Psalm 82, 6, I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. He said it again in Isaiah 41, 23. Shew the things that are to come hereafter, that we may know that ye are gods. Yea, do good or do evil, that we may be dismayed and behold it together. Which simply means that we can be good gods or bad gods, but we are still gods and are cautioned what the punishments are in store for us when we do bad. But then Jesus said it again in John 10, 34. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said ye are gods? Ye are gods, what does that mean? This simply means that we are the original great creators on this earth. The proof of that is how we are copied by peoples of the earth. They want our beautiful variation of skin tones, our lips, our hair, our buttocks, and sinewy physiques. They want our swagger when we walk and dance as we move to the rhythm of the earth and universal heartbeat. They want the rhythm, arrogance, power, confidence, and haughtiness of our speech, which denotes royalty even in the worst of circumstances. They also want our ingenuity. That's why they come to the poorest among us, knowing that when we have nothing, we are at our creative best. They also want to sing like us, act like us. They really want to be us without the position in society to which we have been relegated. But even with all the persecution and devastation they have done to us, still we rise. What a magnificent people we are. Our youth once educated to self and their prior greatness and having seen the possibilities in the movie Black Panther, will be flooding into STEM schools. You know, the science, technology, electronic, and mathematics schools. They will go to them to express their new imaginary concepts, visions, and high self-esteemed reality gleaned from the movie of what they can become. God has awarded us with the Black Panther movie at this appointed time to pull their minds, emotions, bodies, and spirits out of the movie Get Out's sunken place of slave mentality and ignorance of self. We have all been spiritually awakened down to the root of our DNA ancient memory banks. Black Panther has impacted and shaken the people around the world to their core. This has compelled other races to see our people as a whole differently and no longer as less than to be relegated to the bottom of the human ladder. Wakanda is real. It is a space 
within all of our people that is constantly being filled with creations. All we need do is let the spirit within each of us be our guide and allow self-love to replace self-hate. When this happens, we begin to see that image of love in all of our people and see them as allies instead of enemies that slavery programmed us to do in the past. We begin to see our brothers and sisters as kings and queens and our children as princes and princesses. When we see one another in this way, we join together to create our future, build our communities, resist anyone, even if they look like us, sent in from outside forces to cause unrest and chaos to disable our unity, we stand unshakable and impenetrable in strength, knowledge, wisdom, and love. We must remember when God said, let us make man and woman in our likeness and in our image, the creator bestowed within us that magical creative source, the pineal gland that is Wakanda, that manufactures that magical substance vibranium, which is melanin. And now that the great awakening of our people is happening from the movie Get Out Sunken Place of slave mentality and ignorance of self to renewed consciousness of our true selves, we must be more guarded than ever. For the enemy is now more than ever determined to destroy us and the melanin within us. This means we must be extra careful of everything we eat, drink, breathe, and participate in. We must research every medication deemed necessary by doctors for our health carefully to assure it does not destroy or have a negative impact on our melanin. Self-preservation and the protection of our people has never been more vital than it is today as more sophisticated weapons are being used against us. So yes, to the question in the title of this message, Wakanda does exist and Wakanda is within us. We are Wakandans. After having studied our history and how great we are as a people, when we cross our hearts in the ancient Egyptian Israelite salute and say Wakanda forever, in our minds we should be thinking, I love me, I love my people, I love our creativity, and I love who we are forever. Thank you, Black Panther, for all the symbolism and truth. Wakanda forever. <laughs>